Yes, of course. Everyone is more distracted, I think, especially because of uh, the overload of information they get every, every day through their smartphone. Um, because everything is packed on one little screen and then obviously there is still a real world as well where, which uh, takes a lot of attention for the people. Um, and it's just so much more factors that distract people in, the, in these days than 10 years ago, as example. For me personally, the times I reflect the most or focus the most is in the plane. What do you not have in a plane? Usually internet and a mobile phone. Um, so I guess, of course, it's taking away uh, that ability. Um, but yeah, people or actually people should learn how to focus again and how to reflect because um, living fast and um, just in stress and on your mobile phone and with nothing real actually will probably lead in depression at one day, at one point. Um, I think it depends who, uh, whose attention spam. Some people can multitask, I can't as example, so for me, myself, it's definitely reducing. If I watch on my phone, I'm in the phone and nowhere else, which is a shame. To be honest, algorithms and the future of social media and online marketing is probably a step too big for me, but I can only um, say what my feeling says. And my fe feeling says that um, as a creator and as a marketing person, it um, will definitely get harder. It will also get harder to kind of get into people's algorithm or people's timeline as example if it will be even a timeline in the future um, if you have a new product or something especially when you don't pay for it and um, I think it's it's good at one side because people only see what they like kind of but on the other hand it's it's a whole new universe with algorithms and who the hell knows what's still going to happen there. I'm pretty, I'm pretty, how you say, it's a bit worrying all the future with, especially when you see um, docu got documentaries like The Great Hack on Netflix. I mean, that shit's scary. You know, how people like Donald Trump, idiots, just win elections with collecting data and using it in the right way and spreading fear and, you know, it will at one point, I think, only, only give a stage for, for the real big dogs who, who either act really illegal or with a lot of money. So it's kind of hard, not like back in the day where you, with a great idea, can quickly grow. But hey, there's always hope in the good.